everybody. Currently trying to gather a couple things because in today's video, we are going to Grand Rapids in a couple days. So today is Wednesday. We're leaving Friday morning to spend the day down there. My sister graduates on Saturday and then we're going to a vintage market on Sunday. So hopefully this will probably be one vlog. I gotta go in the basement and kind of sort through some stuff and grab some stuff to try and sell to better aged over there and maybe a couple other people. So yeah, let's do that. So currently I have like 14 teas here. Um, this is all stuff that I have listed um, that I'm hoping to sell and kind of just get rid of. Um, and these are jeans. I think I have a good amount of jeans, mostly Levi's here, um, vintage like 90s Levi's. Um, this is like an 80s Bugle Boy that I actually bought in Grand Rapids while we were there. And then this pool table here is everything that I'm kind of trying to sort through and pick through the good stuff to try and sell like this tea, this like Jesus type tea, golf tea. These are pretty much lows and mids. Um, I would say maybe um, I can just sell to some people at the vintage markets. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't hurt to bring all this stuff um, as long as we can fit it in the car because I don't like it sitting down here, to be honest. So <laughs> as you can tell, I'm kind of just grabbing things, um, mostly like the better quality or the stuff I like better, to be honest. Like all this stuff is like Y2K stuff that's kind of sitting, but maybe we can sell some. So literally got this whole other stack here. Holy crap, I don't, I wasn't expecting to grab that much, but I mean, like I said, doesn't hurt. If I don't sell it, I just gotta bring it back home, unfortunately, but um, yeah, we got a couple car tees here. I'm probably only gonna bring jeans and t-shirts um, just because, I mean, maybe a couple sweats. Um, with spring around the corner, um, sweats probably aren't going to be as popular, but some of the light stuff and this, all this women's stuff that I just posted, I love all this stuff to be honest. Um, and to be honest, I am surprised it's still sitting here. I did just list it like a week ago. Like I said, probably doesn't hurt for me to bring it, but we'll see if I have room for it. And uh, yeah, this is everything and I still have to come over here and I wanna grab stuff that I don't have listed because it'll also be easier for me. Um, I have these set aside for a friend, Connor, for him to come try on and I still have to sort through all of this stuff. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys about this stuff, but there's all button ups right there. A lot of Red Wing stuff that I have that I'm probably not gonna list, but um, I have a feeling these will sell or I mean, I like them and <laughs> I don't know, but um, I'm just gonna grab a couple more things and yeah, I'm, car's probably gonna be packed, so yeah. So currently unlisted, I have one, two, three, four, five, five Red Wings tees. I love this one just because I love the big graphic. That one's cool. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to even be able to bring th things that aren't listed, unfortunately, because um, so I continue to go through the table and I found some sweats here. Put them out. One, two, three, four, five, six that I'm going to try and sell. Um, it's still cold here in Michigan. Five, six jackets that could be good for the spring. So hopefully I can clear some of this stuff out. And uh, oh yeah, new addition to this basement here. Snoopy, what up bro? Also, I know you guys fully have not seen the inventory room, the showroom, the vault, the dungeon, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, just got that at an estate sale, love it. Um, it's not hung properly, but um, I do wanna show you guys a lot of the stuff that I have. Um, I got a, I've been getting a lot of good stuff at the uh, estate sales, and they've been like really nasty houses. So you know those places have some really, really good stuff. I will, there will be a separate video about this room here. So yeah, stay tuned, like and subscribe if you haven't already to stay in touch. And uh, okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow, or sorry, we'll see you guys on Friday. Also shout out, cause I love this Facebook Marketplace steal. Oh, sorry, not Facebook Marketplace, Goodwill. Found this mannequin at Goodwill. I wish it had all this stuff on it, but I put that stuff there, but found this at Goodwill and I literally walked it home. <laughs> Okay, everybody, it's the next day. Don't mind uh, the mess that is my hair. I just got home from work not that long ago. Um, but during my lunch break, I stopped at an estate sale. Um, actually, I went to two. One was like a $1.5 million mansion. And I honestly went to go um, for one thing, but I also wanted to see the house. And I went to another one. Um, really nice houses. But besides the point, um, I wanted to show you guys everything I picked up. And let's just say they were steals. 
Um, so yeah, I couldn't resist. Um, they're pretty much for ones for sale, ones for the the vault downstairs or the dungeon, whatever you want to call it. And then the other one is for Landon. It'll probably be a wall piece until it fits him. So yeah, let me show you guys. I'm super, super stoked on this. Look at this. 70s Spider-Man tee on the Sears tag. Oh, sorry, JC Penny. I went for this and I honestly love it. It is stained. It is a big for him right now, but yeah, let me show you guys better in detail. The most important thing I'm gonna start off with first, JC Penny tag there. I mean, I love Spider-Man. He's probably like my favorite Marvel superhero. Love it, love the fading. Can't I can't tell you exactly the year because uh, it's faded out, but yeah, love this thing. Anyways, on to the next one. We got this 80s, come on, not, tell me this is not the coolest Mickey T that you've ever seen. I mean, this is literally, uh, this is like embroidered in and it's on the 80s 5050 Hanes. I love this tag actually. Single stitch, both are single stitch, of course. Um, but yeah, and then the back hit on this one is literally the back of Mickey's head. But this probably um, the coolest Disney tee I've ever seen. Um, I will make a post on this if you guys want to follow me on Instagram at shop just some things. And uh, yeah, this one will probably be for sale because it's not gonna fit me. And I don't think it's gonna fit Bethany. I can try and stretch it, but I'll probably just hand wash it and then uh, sell it at some point. I might let it be a wall piece for now, just like the Spider-Man because this is too big for Landon. But, and then this, I'm not really gonna get into the story of this. This name is pretty close to a name that uh, may or may not have significant value to us um, sometimes. So yeah, this is gonna go down in the vault or the dungeon, whatever, okay. <laughs> So I just want to say I don't usually go to like the really, really big expensive house uh, estate sales um, just because I know for a fact they're probably going to charge a lot. And this specific estate sale that I bought this, this stuff from usually is really, really expensive and everything that I, else that I wanted to grab, I didn't grab because it was way too much. Like you're pretty much paying resale and sometimes even over the market, which I'm not a fan of. Um, but yeah so let me know what you guys think of these finds oh it was mail day today so i wanted to show you guys this thing that i got shout out to c thrifts for this um i'll tag him right here if you guys want to follow him um check out his page he sells a lot of really cool stuff but right here we have a 70s okay i'm gonna flip you guys around again hold on okay so right here we have this 70s russell gold tag like jersey this is all embroidered on. Shout out to uh, number 24, Don. I don't know what frat this is, but somebody, somebody tell me. <laughs> no tag, um, the tag is actually like here, but I think it usually has another tag, I'm not sure, but this is the kind of stuff that I've been loving to source and find. Um, for the personal, um, I don't know if this fits or not. It might be a little tight. I'm gonna try and stretch it and see how that goes, but yeah, kind of love, been loving this stuff. I'm sorry, had to change, we're going for a walk. Um, after dinner, Landon's taking a nap currently, but I realized when I said um, this is the kind of stuff I've been loving and I've been sourcing, I didn't show you guys kind of kindled and started my little, I guess, obsession, <laughs> I can say. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. Here we have a 40s rayon cotton blend tigers like a uh, jersey type shirt, ringer type tee. Um, I absolutely love this thing. It's super, super soft, super comfortable. And I love the cut, love the colors. Um, obviously this is like Michigan colorway, but this is literally like like felt, like a felt print. I had to do a little repair here. I had to sew that, had to sew that back on. Ma fixed the armpit cause there was a hole here, but yeah, you can see the tiny tag. This is tagged a large, and I believe this is from like the 40s. Single stitch, it is a little dirty. It's got some marks here, but I honestly love, love this thing so, so much. I'm so excited to get my wear out of this, and it's just that true vintage type of feel, as much as I hate to say that, but um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, whew, look at it. So that will probably be the gist of the recording today. Um, we still have to pack, and then we leave for Grand Rapids tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll see you then. Oh, I feel like whenever we go on vacation, I'm always so motivated to do stuff. Is anybody else like that? About to try and bleach this hoodie here. Try and get it a little faded, probably a little bit of a different color. I'm not a huge fan of this blue for some reason on the sweatshirt. Um, so yeah, let's see what it looks like. I should probably do this in the basement. Okay, let's leave it for a little bit and we'll see what it looks like. So we just got home um, from our walk 
and uh, it took a lot longer because we ended up stopping by in this resale shop that's in our little downtown area owned by this super cute little old lady and of course you guys know we had to buy some stuff so i'm gonna show you guys really quickly first off we got this beautiful little knit owl babe what would you call this Okay, so Bethany said she thinks this is called cross stitching. Super, super cute. Um, and then we got bag full clothing, 70s. Okay, hold on, this is terrible. Okay, this is much better. We got the 70s like tennis skirt for the ladies. Super, super cute. This is like summer. Perfect for the summertime, maybe spring if it's warm enough. But you guys know I've been trying to sell women's clothing. So there's that. We got this cute little kitty denim skirt. Denim skirt. Bethany got this shawl, pretty vibrant. And then <laughs> we got this little uh, vintage vinegar almanac. These are 70s like wool flares for the ladies yet again. These are flares. I mean, come on, how cool are these? Older YKK zipper, but this is from the 70s. It's got the 70s Kmart tag on it and it's got two pockets and a belt. And then I found these funky, kind of match actually, these 70s pants. These are cool, but I think this is a bigger size. These, it's got the tail and zip. Next we have this like 60s or 70s dry back hunting jacket. Super cool, you guys know I like finding this kind of stuff. This one will probably be for sale, but um, it's cool. I like it, it's old, I like it. And it's got this pouch, dude. Also, forgot, got this. What is this, a hanger rack? Morning, everybody. We are on our way to Grand Rapids. We will be leaving shortly, but just wanted to say good morning. We will see you in Grand Rapids. Say good morning. <laughs> so we made it to Grand Rapids. We're here at Mariah's house. What's up, guys? Her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> um, but we're gonna walk to the stovetop and then we have to wait for Better Age to be open because I don't think they're open yet. Um, they yeah, probably open at like 12, but high. we need breakfast, we need coffee. And uh, oh, also this is the failed dyed hoodie that I got. Can't really show you guys, but it turned out pink. So I think I'm gonna totally just try and bleach it out because this is, uh, yeah. I'm like, got that kind of candy color way going. <laughs> Landon's here. Excited to see Tita. Say hello. Yes, hi. Good job, buddy. Where are we? Stove top roasters. We got a gangster boy. <laughs> <laughs> Say what up? Say sup, Dad. So right now we're grabbing coffee and breakfast. We got three coffees and two breakfast bagels. So yeah, waiting for that. And uh, kind of just don't really know exactly what we're doing, but we're here. A little mini getaway. So Honey Bay coffee. Cheers. Dirty chai. Dirty chai. Always good here. Pretty good. Always good here. Alright guys, we finished coffee. We're going to the Petrichor Market. We were here last time we were in Grand Rapids, so. This little bowling tee with a zip. It literally looks like the one that I got. But these are perfect. Oh my gosh, look at this print. Love the pearl snap. Little Boy Scout hit. Oh yeah, you like car tees. I do like car tees. Bethy likes these ones. Oops, nice. 68 bucks, 90s, yeah, that's about right. She loves to wear. I can make these for you. you just gotta wear these you know, dickies when you go gardening. <laughs> Love the tiger's tea on the trench. Why do I kind of want one of these? Guys, I think Bethany really wants these dickies. Should I buy them for her? Oh my gosh, look at this. So soft. Trick. Weezer. I like this one. This one looks like it fits nice. Grand blank. Nice. That's a youth size, actually. You guys know I love a Harley tee. Texan. That's my last name. The sickest Florida Gator shirt I've ever seen. That fade. Ooh, beautiful Hayden's tag. Chore. Love this varsity. 
Detroit Tigers ringer. 80s, paper thin. Ooh, beautiful. Really cool Disney. Ooh, I found something velvishing. Sick. New booth from Slip Vintage if you guys watch the Traverse City vlog. Super dead. Super cool. cool tea. All the military stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. Literally have a pair like this that I've never worn that I need to sell because I haven't worn it. So I'm currently walking back to the car to grab the car and uh, the Petrocore market is buying stuff which uh, the owner of that place is actually dating the owner of Better Age. So yeah, let's see and let's hope that they buy stuff because I just want to get rid of it. So BC, who's BC guys? Prior me. <laughs> We're the best of Christian. It's literally their colors. Dude. Isn't that what they looked like? You know? Is that a Bethesda Christian? Yeah, dude. That'd dude. be really funny. Do we need to buy it? Oh, shoot. I don't know if anybody Are they blue and gold? Casey. They were blue and gold. For real? Yeah. Eagle. Its size, sporting qualities, and savory flavor make it one of the most important game fish species in North America. I've been walleye fishing. <laughs> Oh, I found a new friend, Landon. Buddy, what you think? Oh, you're making a friend, Landy. Right. 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 Oh my goodness! I know. I need these pants from this catalog. How do I order them? Sears, dude. How do I order these? Yo. What up? These 70s buttes? Oh my gosh. Yes. Made a deal here. Sold a couple things here. Glad to kind of get rid of them. So, sweet. Got more stuff here. All right, guys, we sold some stuff. Shout out to uh, Jordan at the Petrocore Market. Yeah, she didn't want to be on camera, which is totally fine. I respect that. Just like Bethany, most of the time she doesn't like to be on camera, but I, like to talk. I can force her. Yeah, she doesn't like to talk much, but um, we're on our way to better age pretty shortly here after Landy gets a little diapy change. <laughs> but we made some money, so that's good. I got, got rid of pretty much, I'm pretty sure she bought almost all the jeans that I brought. Like I said, if you guys want some steals and I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of this stuff, yeah, let me know, but we're gonna do a quick fit check. Fit check. Okay, um, jeans are from Old Navy, I think. Whoa. Straight. Whoa, Old yeah. Navy? Yeah, not thrifted, sorry. Shirt is from Uniqlo, got them in the Philippines, can't get it here. Oh, sick. And then vintage leather jacket from Value World. Yeah. And then this oh, hat. Oh, that's the jacket, yeah, nice. Yeah. And then this Levi's trucker hat. Sweet. Platform blazers. Fit check. Thrifted. 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 Goodwill Target. Goodwill Target. We'll do Lanny's fit check, but um, you guys already saw it earlier. old navy. He hasn't got no sneaks on, so. <laughs> Starting from here, we got this 650s or 60s nylon jacket. 70s sorority, Russell it's, Southern. I think it's frat, first of all. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fraternity. We got... Vault, Levi's, vintage Levi's, Sambas. Sick. Yeah, sorry. It's because I was looking at a sorority one on eBay and it sold, so. About to walk into Better Aged. Let's hope we can sell more stuff. Love finding Looney Tunes stuff. Shop, huh? I love the shop. The state's out. That's nice too. <laughs> Bethany loves the 90s. Love these ringer tees here. We love Kansas. We Heck love yeah. Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Kansas tee. <laughs> Look at this Kansas tee. That, that big one, River, River Mark. <laughs> Perfect. Bethany says she liked this on me because my huge gun. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty. Perfect. We want this right here. Oh, this is like a planter, baby. How much are you going to offer? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. 
hard. So cool. Levi's baby. Y'all already know. <gasps> Polo Country. Oh, I have this shirt. Look, I don't have this next shirt, but did you see these? These are states. It's also this one. Go ahead. Austin from Better Age. I don't know. Give him your handle. Uh, at better. better Age. There you go. Yeah. Sweet. So we made some deals here. We bought a couple stuff just trying to get rid of the stack that I have. So cool, man. Thank you so much. Thanks Appreciate you. Love yeah. the shop, man. Thank you. So we're at a restaurant called KCM. We're grabbing some lunch. And then uh, who knows what we're doing. Ryan's got a nail appointment. So sorry, Tram. And then we got to check in to our hotel and probably let little guy take a nap because he'd be sleepy. He looked he look crazy. Chicken katsu. Chicken katsu kimbap. Kimbap, baby. Thank you. Let's try it. As we made it to this hotel, Landy boy needs a nap. So we're about to put him down for a nap and we're probably just about to chill. Um, I'm not gonna give you guys really a tour. You can kind of already see it behind me big. It's nice. And we got the king size suite. They upgraded us. So thank you, Marriott. Sponsor me so we can travel for free. Thank you. Well, we'll see you guys in a little bit. And once we figure out what to do, and hold on, wait, Landon wants to say something. Tell the world. <laughs> we are on our way. We've got two bags that I'm hoping to lighten the load because we have to walk up a giant hill <laughs> right now. Oh, how do people do this? So, I'm already showing you guys some stuff, but oh my gosh, this Harley is beautiful. Tease, stop here. So we're at a place called Decadence Vintage. I'm gonna leave the tag here. If you guys wanna check it out, it smells really, really good. That's like my first impression. But we're gonna take a look around and maybe show you guys some really cool stuff if we find anything um, that we particularly like. So yeah, and hopefully you buy some stuff, so. Love this bread sign here. Bethany found something. Her, fa her new favorite vintage store now. Her favorite movie on a deck of cards. <laughs> So, made a deal here, sold some stuff here at uh, Decadence Vintage in Grand Rapids. So if you guys wanna check them out, I will tag them. But yeah, shout out to the owner over here. Thank you. Guys, back to the car, back to another shop. Um, seriously, come buy my steals. They're like mostly low, some mids. But uh, yeah, come buy my stuff, please. Help me out. Thing, we're not driving, we're gonna walk. So gotta walk a little bit to uh, carry this heavy bag now. place called Second Vibes. I will tag them here. Um, the shop is huge, so definitely if you guys are in the area and love like vintage, come check this place out. They got a lot of like Y2K, 90s, like streetwear type things, but yeah, I'm still walking around and uh, they brought out a bag of kids clothes, so we're gonna go through that one. Just dig in here. Okay, what are these? Oh my gosh, look at this. 70s, it's on the back. The Beatles, baby. Bethy loves poo. Sorry guys, it's really loud, but why do I need this for him? I literally found him that Spider-Man shirt, and now a Spider-Man jacket? Maybe? Obviously it's really big, but... This little baseball tee for my little dude. I'm the bench warmer, he's so sad. But that's so cute. A little single stitch biker tee. 3D emblem tag. Oh my gosh, actually. What the hell? I just love that. Okay. Okay, first 3D emblem, possibly. Then this beautiful, if this was big and my size, I would totally wear this 70s like denim. Look at this embroidery, come on. And then on the back, super cool. Um, this is a beautiful, oh my gosh. Perfect. Nope, look at this. 
this one. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a Harley on a Tennessee River gold tag. The most beautiful faded Harleys, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't look here. Can't look. Okay, so we are back at the car now. Um, definitely less than the low. They bought like 16 things and um, we bought like four or five like kids clothes. Thank you guys for doing that trade. I definitely appreciate it. We appreciate it, especially because we love the kids clothes that we found. Um, I might show you guys later. I'll probably honestly forget unless we do it right at the hotel, but we'll see. And now we're going for dinner. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the selling today, possibly this weekend. I mean, I know Mariah's friend said she wanted, uh, he wanted to come take a look, so there's that. And then I have two t-shirts that I'm trying to sell at the market on Sunday to people who are there. I don't know if that's uh, proper etiquette, but I mean, I really wanna get rid of this stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see. We're at a place called Jolly Pumpkin. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but uh, I'll show you guys the food and that'll probably be the end of the day today. So we may or may not see you guys tomorrow. All right.